So I'm back here behind this uh, piping situation. There's no floor back here, but what they did for the plumbing was like, I don't know, there's like an eight inch space to put all the pipes and they have like linoleum. It's a situation that we had under the counter that I'm trying to fix too. So we've been getting like little roaches, the little type of roaches that like have their butts sticking up. We've been getting them in this bathroom and I think it's because there was holes in the floor. So I'm trying to seal all of that up and then I'm going to put, um, I'm just using what I have. So I'll show you what I'm doing, it's very messy. I'm taking the extra, like all the caulking that you know you get a little bit and you can't get a nice line out of. Um, I'm taking all of that. So I have like, this is like half a tube, but I'm gonna take all of this and this one I lost the cap to, so it dried up on the end. I'm just gonna cut it out and squeeze it. I got all this at the Dollar Tree, so they're $1.25 a piece. Um, this is what I mixed up of, it's water putty. It comes in a powder and you mix it with water. So this was taped and that's all there was. Like you open the tape and there's a hole. So I filled that to make a floor. I put a thin layer first a couple days ago and then I added this next layer and it's still wet um, so I used almost half a can to make this much which is fine because the can was 250 so it's very cheap and I'm just going back I don't have any backer filler like the foam stuff to fill that in so I'm just taking all the extra caulking and just taking my stick and just pushing it in there and then I'm going to cover it up with some cutting boards so it's all sealed twice. I'm gonna cover all this up with uh, those flexible plastic cutting boards that I get at uh, Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to close this hole in, probably with the flexible cutting boards <laughs> or something like that. Maybe my, um, maybe my wood strips probably. And then, ugh, okay, I got this at Dollar Tree and it's you know the vinyl covering contact paper so there's quite a bit in here and I'm just going to cover this whole wall with the contact paper so it's removable because I do have to get up into here this is where my washer and my hot and my water are you know for the washer so and then the drain pipe and here's the hot and cold water. So I need to be able to get into here, but I don't want to air condition all this and I don't want this open to the, you know, bugs coming in and stuff. So sealed twice and then probably make, make it up until there, seal the top of that because that's just air conditioning eight inches of space of an empty wall for no reason. So I'll get all that done. Hopefully today. So here's the powder that I'm using, Durham's Water Putty. I put it in here with a little bit, just a little bit of water really. And it'll mix up, and I'm wearing a mask, because you don't want this in your lungs for sure, because it hardens up pretty quick. I probably have to put more powder in. So I'm just gonna get it to like thick oatmeal and then fill the rest of the holes. Distilled white vinegar. Uh -huh. It helps keep smells away. Why not use it right now? I've been. Why not? You use it for cleaning and. So why is it always in the cabinet? It's weird. 
Yeah. It has vegetables on it. Yeah, you can use it for cooking and you eat it. Cool. Yeah. Why is it in a bottle? Well, how else would it come? It could come canned. Yeah, but nobody cans vinegar. Here, some vinegar. Okay, I don't need it now. You can put it in the kitchen for me. Sure. Just basically filling all the holes. Well, this looks interesting though. Yeah. It's not easy to get a big a closer look. Uh-huh. But I'll try. What? Is the camera on? Uh-huh. The roaches come up. Yeah, because they had holes in the floor. There. And now, but after this, we're not going to have any. There's one last hole you don't know about. Is it in the bathroom? Yep. I'm going to get it in a minute. It's in the walls. Yeah, I'm going to get it. It's where all this fire came from one night. Oh, yeah? I'll get it in a minute. The, the spider went away. And I never saw wanted to see a spider in my life. That's the story of how I began scared of spiders. Oh. Spiders, they were our friends. They were our friends, but... Spiders eat bad bugs that we don't like. My, the only spider friend I had was Buddy. There were two buddies. Yeah, he was a big one. Yeah. That's a wolf spider. He's a predator. We found a wolf spider mm -hmm. where we used to live. In the shed there was a beautiful spider that died after he ate too much. Well, they get old and then they die. I see I got some holes to fill back there. I'm going to make another batch. So this is two batches. This is almost pretty well dry. I still have to fill some holes in the corner I couldn't see there. And then I'm going to fill the holes back in there. I'm basically just making a floor <laughs> out of a floor we don't have. I'm going to make another batch and make sure all that stuff is full and just kind of fill this cavity up just to make it more solid. Okay, I'm basically just going to let it dry and uh, then cover it up. I believe I was able to get into all the holes. I used a mirror to make sure I got into all the cracks. Now that wall just goes to the bathroom, but I have to tape up these holes that they made in the side and uh, fill up those holes just because I, I don't want any of this like exposed to anything. I want it completely sealed up. And I'm going to go ahead and paint the floor back here just to make it pretty because it's never been painted and I'll go ahead and paint this wall here too to go with the brown. Alright, two coats of paint and I sealed up the wall. Um, I'm going to seal this crack and then put insulation up underneath it here because I I really have tried to put this stuff in and I can't figure out how to get around the pipes without yeah lots of tape anyway I taped up these holes and the tape that I'm using for that is like this it's got it's very sticky so it's underwater tape um, I used to use it for my pond when my pond would get a hole in it you can use it for pools you can use it underwater so it does work. It's got some kind of backing on it and it's a silver tape that becomes waterproof when you make a, 
good seal with it. So I just use that around the pipes and then I'm going to go on the inside where my cabinet is and seal it up over there and put contact paper on top of it. All right, so that looks much better. Um, gonna let it dry out a little bit. Did end up putting two layers, one facing this way and one facing that way right there. And then later I'm gonna come up and stuff some insulation in there and enclose just this board right here. And then get some plywood and put in front of there. I think it'd be the best to seal it completely, uh, but still be able to take it off. So I'll just unscrew the plywood. So I was gonna do the caulking, but there's uh, some wet wood here and um, quite a bit of wood rot. Not all of it, but I had to peel this up. You know, I'm gonna put new floor, like, peel and stick in here. And I'm gonna have to clean all this up now. You aren't subscribed yet? Please subscribe and like. Comment and share, fully living. It's a 95 degree morning out here. Getting the wrinkles out. Kids are gonna learn how to swim. You gonna come out here every day? Yeah. All the way up, but... I made it. <laughs> Oh, the yellow flight. She got out and she said, I feel heavy. Hard, wasn't able to do it, DIY.